Mbrokti Hawa Bakata, Yehaw Sha, Brokti Hawa Bakata, Yehaw Sha, Baha Sham, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. Lesson will be entitled The Ops. Lord will, you are edified. Also, this video will be used for fair use purpose only. As more than a decade ago, Mark Taylor was banned from Houston County. Now he's in the headlines again. Taylor shared a slur filled video of himself driving through Atlanta with a friend. Then those videos wound up on Facebook. We want to warn that the video you're about to see is disturbing. I ain't seen a white person in sight. Homeless ones on the street. Every restaurant looking in here is black. Every car beside them is black. They can have Atlanta. And that's just the milder racist comments that Mark Taylor said on camera. Videos show Taylor making racist slurs toward a black woman driving in downtown Atlanta and saying someone named Roe would hang the woman from a tree. They show him using the N-word several times. He shouldn't be around kids. He shouldn't be have the privilege of being a coach to any athlete. And our parents need to know what they're walking into. Now, some parents like Karen Buckman, along with students and coaches, are speaking out against the trainer. Taylor offers personal training for kids eight and up in football, basketball, track and other sports. Buckman says Taylor trained her son for three years through his private company, Speed Edge Sports. You do not have to be a parent of a black child to be or any person of color to be horrified and think that this is horrendous. On his company's Facebook page, Taylor markets himself as a former Georgia Bulldog football player, GHSA track coach of the year six times, and claims personal connections to SEC coaches like Kirby Smart and Nick Saban. Taylor is a former Northside Middle School teacher and coach, and in 2007, he pleaded guilty to a felony charge of influencing a witness. He was accused that same year of stalking and harassing his ex fiance who was also a teacher. Housing County Schools fired Taylor from his teaching and coaching jobs in 2007, and he was banished from the county. When he had a hard time and he went to prison and he came back to our community to coach, we supported him. And for him to turn around and bite the hand that feeds him is just another brick on this complicated, disgusting situation. Now we reached out to Taylor by phone and by email. He has not responded. Frank Flory. Hi, right, thanks, Ashlyn. Taylor rented a space at Central Fellowship Christian Academy to train students. The Academy released a statement saying they give no room for racism and that they have ended the relationship with Taylor and his training company. They say he was never a school employee. And guess what? Taylor is in the right spirit. Okay. Again, Taylor is in the the right spirit. Malachi one and three and I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. But the most important aspect starts in Malachi 1 and 2. I have loved you, said the Lord Yahweh, yet you say, wherein have you loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, said the Lord Yahweh, yet I loved Jacob. Jacob is the progenitor or the father of so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans based on the lineage of our fathers. And Esau is the progenitor or the father of modern day white people based on the lineage of their fathers, okay? We were created to be 
each other opposition. And it started in the book of Genesis. Genesis 3 and 15. And I, referring to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, will put enmity, meaning hatred, between you and the woman. The woman is a representation for the nation of Israel in a time frame to come. You would be a representation for the Edomites in a time frame to come. And between your seed and her seed, it shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. This hatred began in the book of Genesis. And Genesis means the beginning. Now, over a process of time, out of the nation of the serpent, you had a person or a descendant named Cain. Cain. And out of the nation of the woman, you had a descendant named Abel. Genesis 4 and 8. And Cain talked with Abel, his brother. And it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him the reason why Cain murdered Abel out of jealousy because Abel submitted a righteous sacrifice based on the law statutes and the commandments in an oral format at this time frame he gave a righteous sacrifice to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. And Cain did not. And therefore, out of jealousy, Cain murdered Abel. Out of jealousy, Cain murdered Abel. Within this doctrine, you have a concept called reincarnation. And if you can receive this in the spirit, Cain came back as Esau. And Abel came back as Jacob. Genesis 25 and 23. And Isaac entreated the Lord Yahweh for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord Yahweh was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the sons struggled together within, within her, meaning they were fighting inside of her womb because of this enmity, which started back in Genesis, the third chapter. And the sons struggled together within her 
And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord Yahweh. And the Lord Yahweh said unto her, two nations are in your womb and two manner of people shall be separated from your bowels. Okay, in modern terms, Israelites, okay, and so-called white people, which are Edomites, Israelites and Edomites, all right, two manner of people. And it starts from what? The Israelites are a spiritual people. And the Edomites are a carnal people. The Israelites are classified as the righteous beginning with the elect. And the Edomites are classified as the wicked. And therefore, it's hatred which began in the spiritual realm that manifested manifested on earth and it continues to play out on earth until this very day okay we are each other's ops we were created okay to be each other enemies And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. The Israelites shall be stronger than the Edomites. And the elder, which are Edomites, shall serve the younger, which are Israelites. Genesis 27 and 41. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing. Now remember, Esau gave the blessing to Jacob. And this was set up in the spirit. All right. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing. What blessing? The kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of Yahusha. Wherewith his father blessed him, and Esau said in his mind, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. And this is the mindset of Esau, as well as his descendants, after the death of our forefather Isaac. Okay? This is going into the parable of Lazarus and the rich man, right? Now, Lazarus is a representation for the Israelites, beginning with the elect, and the rich man is is a representation for the Edomites, beginning with the international bankers that control this entire system, beginning with the Rothschilds. Luke 16 and 25. Now, this is symbolic talk, but this is going into the blessing of the kingdom of heaven. And he cried, Luke 16 and 24, and he cried and said, Who, the rich man? Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip 
the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for I am tormented in this flame. Now this is a representation how they will be slaves in the kingdom of heaven. Okay? The Edomites will catch ongoing hell. Verse 25. But Abraham said, Son, remember that you in your lifetime, in your blessing, in your kingdom, all right, receive you good things and likewise Lazarus evil things, meaning in your kingdom, the Israelites were enslaved. The Israelites caught ongoing hell. But now he is comfort and you are tormented. Meaning what? In the kingdom of heaven, the Israelites will have ongoing peace. A life of tranquility. And the Edomites will be in hell. Our heaven is their hell and vice versa. Verse 26. And beside all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed. And this is set up in the spirit by Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh. So that they which would pass from here to you cannot, neither can they pass to us that that would come from there. Now let's read this in the NLT. And besides, it's like, and besides, there is a great chasm, meaning opening, separating us. No one can, no one can cross over to you from here, and no one can cross over to us from there. Okay, so this goes back to Genesis, the third chapter. This diligent hatred, this ongoing hatred, okay? So, that Edomite is in the right spirit, okay? The ops, Lord, will you edify Shalom.